That was close. <laughs> that was freaking close. This should be called the ultimate. I don't know why. I, I have, I ordered a, what's it, Rustler Ultimate. Ultimate. I didn't see it before. I just, this seemed to pop up last week. And I don't know why this one is not called Ultimate because it has all the same, I believe it has all the same features actually. And it's all beefed up. You know what I mean? I mean, it's got all the, the tires, the up, the up, uploaded, updated, <laughs> intro, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the updated equipment, you know? And it's like, you know, it's really like, it's not like the regular. If you look at the regular Stampede, it, it doesn't look like this at all, really. This looks like the Haas. I think that's what they realized, they were cannibalizing themselves by making a Haas and this, I guess. I don't know. I'm no engineer, but anyway, I like the heck out of this thing. I think, you hear the tires? Listen to them. I think it's cool. Anyway. Now, where's these bugs? Not bugs. What are these things called again? These big fat... We call them fat boys. Oh, there it is. And there's the other hole. And you poured right into it. I mean, <laughs> you drove right into it. Please excuse me. I don't know if I'm getting Tourette or do I, is this the after effects of the incident I had, which I refuse to say anymore in words. So I tend to say things wrong, so if I say anything offensive or wrong or a bit rude, please don't take it personally because I'm, I don't, you know, I, I know what I want to say, but what comes out is totally different. Now, I don't want to really talk about the car because I want to discuss whatever else, you know? So until I think of something to talk about, I'll just stay silent and enjoy my truck. I can't wait for the, the uh, my God, what's it called? It starts with an R. <laughs> I just say it. Revolt, not revolt. <laughs> Repent, reverse, river, ah, uh, river, no. It's close to river. Uh, rip, mm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to quietly think about what it could be that starts with an R that I ordered that they refer to as Ultimate that I think they should they should call this one Ultimate too. I mean, I can call it anything I want really, but well, I guess Traxxas Control Cars call, charge even more money if they called it Ultimate. Not Riviera. It's not Riviera, not Revolt, not Reverse. Oh my god, what is it? Ow! I gotta tighten up the shocks. Ow! Well, I can take all that because it's built. It's built to take the beating. You know, it's built to take the beating. Look at that. Oh my god, I still can't rip. <laughs> it's. I want to keep saying Riviera, it's not Riviera, that's the old Buick. That was a nice car. Oh my god, what do they call it? Repulse? <laughs> um, I can't think of the name. Is it even with it? <laughs> Revolt? No, not Revolt. Oh my goodness. There's Stampede. I used to call, wait, is it Stampede? Yeah, I was calling it. Oh my god, what was I calling it? <laughs> I was calling it wrong on one of the videos and I know people wanted to write, curse me out. But I block out the comments because people are so mean and I don't like that. I'm from the Bronx. I get pissed off really, really quick. That's why they have me out here. Because I have a really, 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 really bad temper. 
And so I'm not allowed to be in the city anymore because it'll just irk my anger. Ow! Oh my goodness, it's not really, I'm still trying, now I can't even, stampede, right, no wait, no, that's what it is called, stampede, it is called a stampede, right, stadium, oh that's what I was calling it, I was referring to it as a stadium, and it's not a stadium, it's a stampede, but what's the, what's the other one, it's like the brother or the sister of this thing, every time they, sh oh, it scared the hell out of me, Take it easy with that, man. That's not even a real siren. Anyway, you know what I did? It seems that I couldn't, again, I tried to get the, the new drift car from Traxxas and it's not available. I went to my hobby store, they didn't have it. Um, they're claiming that it may not come out until October. Well, they may not get it till October. I don't know, usually Stamp, not usually Stampede, usually Traxxas has come out with the product already on the website, uh, but it hasn't so far, so I'm wondering if something didn't happen, you know, they, they wanted to do the electronics with the computer, with the phone, and you gotta buy all these things to go with it, I'm not doing all that, so unless I can tune it my own way, well, for one thing, Traxxas advises you to not touch it. Just drive it until you get really used to it. So, you know, they had this guy on there, this honcho, and he was doing his thing, but he's a professional. But he messed with the parameters, and he had the hardest time driving this thing. He was driving it. He did very well. This guy's an expert. Well, they said he's an expert. He seemed to be. Whose website was he on? I can't remember. Anyway, was the Mexican? No, he's not Mexican. Is he Hawaiian? Oh my goodness. Anyway, he was having a hard time because he messed with the parameters. He couldn't get the gyro right again. There was a few things that he couldn't get right. Did I bring a battery? No, I didn't. Anyway, they haven't come out with it yet. And to be honest with you, if I can't adjust it with this car, by itself with this then I don't want it I don't want to have to rely on my cell phone I don't like my cell phone I hate my cell phone it's a necessary evil I just want a regular phone hello goodbye hello goodbye I don't want to have you know all this other stuff well, I, I listen to car talk I'm able to take videos I'm able to take pictures I like that but um I don't want to be bothered with all that stuff I just want to come out and enjoy it it looks like a science project, you know, it, you know, I don't like a lot of gadgets and doodads, I'm being redundant, I just want to do what I'm doing, get into it, turn it on, watch it go, you know, other people like to jump it over things, which is okay, I'm not into that because, whatever, I'm not into it, I mean, I like to see them jump up and down, I like when they land solid. I gotta put this. See, I purposely don't tighten up the shocks on this because then you could land solid, like boom. I love that sound. Then I'll get addicted to that sound and I'll wreck the car. Then I gotta fix it. It takes me a long time to fix it. And I don't wanna keep going back to the guys, you know? $35 a pop. So, you know, I don't wanna really tear it up. I'm not into that anyway, really. I like to take care of my things, get my car nice and clean. Hey guys, get this. I am a Cadillac man, okay? I'm a Cadillac guy. I've been driving Cadillacs probably longer than most of the listeners are listening. Cadillac, it was the bomb. I mean, it had velour seats. They, the seats were huge. They were cushioned. They were comfortable. It was like a bed, right? It was really so boss. And slowly but surely, it became a Chevy. And the last Caddy I had was the 2016 CTSV. That's before they called it, decided to call it Blackout and Blackwing and all this other crap. Because, well, they wanted to come out with a new engine called uh, Blackwing. They came out with the new engine Blackwing. Came out on a nice Caddy, nice four-door. 
and I was gonna get it. It had four doors, four deep, four, blah, 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 four, four wheel steering. It was a nice car, and it was called Blackwing. That was the new engine. Then all of a sudden they stopped making it. <laughs> you couldn't find it in the Cadillac dealership. But if you went to other car salespeople, like Car Car Guru or whatever the hell you call them, you could find a ton of them. But go to Cadillac for it, you can't get it. So anyway, they stopped making it. But for some reason, they saw it in their infinite wisdom to stop calling it a CTSV, and they now call it CTSV Blackwing. It doesn't have a Blackwing engine. It has a 6.2 liter, eight cylinder engine. That's, that's really good. I had the 2016 and it attracts a lot of attention. Everybody wants to pull up to you. Everybody wants to give you a hard time. And when you mash in that caddy, you, you leave them all, no matter what they're driving. One of these fancy fast Audis tried to take me. I mean, it's not like I dusted or anything, but he couldn't pass me. You know, he tried. He tried to pass you, but he couldn't. He couldn't pass me. The thing is like bottomless. And anyway, I got rid of it because the Lord sent me to the dealership for a Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S in black. When I got to the dealership, that's exactly what was there. <laughs> so I got it. It was a used one. Now, you know, if you buy a used Mercedes-Benz, don't keep it past the warranty date. Once that warranty is up, get rid of it. Unless you load it in buku money. I'm not, you know, I'm not paying for repairs like that. I'm just not doing it. I grew up with hoopties. I know what car parts cost or should cost. I, I know what I'm willing to pay and what I'm not. And after paying $500 for oil changes, with, which included other things, is this thing still going? And uh, other things like that. You know, uh, $1,000 brake changes because not only does Mercedes-Benz want to change the brakes, they want to change the rotors. So it's a thousand bucks every time you go. And the front wheel is way, front wheels are way more money than the back tires. The back tires was a thousand bucks. I was surprised. Was it the back tires? Whatever it was. It was over a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars for what? I'm driving from here to there. You know, I'm, you know, I, I just can't picture that, you know? I never paid that much for my caddy wheels. So anyway, as soon as the warranty was up, I got rid of it. Well, actually, no, that's incorrect. No, no, no. I love that Benz. <laughs> that Benz was so cool. That's right, that's the truth. And what happened was I woke up one Sunday morning. I don't mean to bore you to death. And the Lord said, buy this car. So I'm like, but Lord, I love my Benz. Why would you want me to give up my Benz for a Hyundai? Now I'm back from, you know, I, I can remember when Hyundai was <laughs> a $5,000 car. That's all I'm gonna say. It was $5,000 for the Hyundai. That's how much, you know, it was a car just to basically, it was a go-kart. But look at it now. The Lord said, go out there and get yourself this Hyundai, whatever color, more likely it'll be red. I looked at the Honda dealership, which actually popped up on my computer. See, people say things, but they don't realize. I never, ever, 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 ever <clears throat> Googled Hyundai or Toyota or anything other than Cadillac, Lexus, or Lincoln. Now, Lincoln's a boss. Lincoln's are, are badass all around. You, Lincoln is always was always a very powerful engine. Lincolns will surprise you. So if you run up across a Lincoln and it's, you're not gonna know it anyway, just leave it alone. Cause it's probably gonna be one of those high speed ones that literally go high speed. The only thing with them and like with other cars, even Mercedes, unless it's an AMG. Oh yeah, by the way, that was an AMG. Um, the car tends to slow down. Once you start going a certain speed on the track, it'll slow you down. They're like, oh no, you don't want to go that fast. Well, yeah, I do. I don't want you slowing me down. Because then once they slow you down, you got to build that speed back up. So you spent all that time building that speed up, and now you've got to rebuild it because the car shuts you down. You know, I hated that. So anyway, um, 
I forget what I was saying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah, the Hyundai. Right. The Hyundai was, was shown to me and then I was told to get it. So I got it. I had the, what? The, uh, it was a Sunday morning when the Lord told me and it, by Tuesday I had it. So, and I'm not, I, you know what? I don't miss it. I don't miss that expensive car payment. I don't miss the expensive repairs. Because once you run out of warranty, and I'll tell you another story real quick, then I'll shut up. Uh, once you run out of warranty, it's on you. Even if you don't run out of warranty, you gotta pay for brakes and all the other, uh, you know, essentials that you'll need to operate this car. And like me, you want to take it to the dealership because I'm not having somebody who works on Buick or some whatever. If you're gonna work, if you get a Mercedes, you gotta have it worked on by Mercedes, not by Joe Blow's shop. Nothing wrong with Joe Blow's shop. And Mercedes, BMW, Audi—they're just too technologically advanced. Unless it's a specialty shop to work on these cars. I found a specialty shop that only worked on Benzes. Even then, it was a little expensive. It turned out to be about half of what I would have spent at Mercedes, so it wasn't bad. But it was still more than I wanted to spend. And the guys were very nice too. So anyway, uh, I got this Honda and I don't miss it. I really don't. I enjoy it. It's a high-speed Honda. If you can put high-speed and Honda in the same sentence, yeah, you can. Because people won't mess with me. Some people won't with this car. Even the sound of it sounds good. Once you turn it on, it starts bubbling. And if you hit a, a, a certain button, it'll, it'll pop, 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 pop. It'll, it'll have those little pops in it. I love that. So it's a really nice car. It's got enough room in it. Could I use more room? Sure. You know, but I like it. I like it a lot. I've had it for almost three years. I've never had a car for almost over three years and right now I'm approaching well next July three years so technically I'm at the point where I would get rid of the car right about now no matter what it was well except the caddy I kept the caddy on the three I had the caddy for almost four I enjoyed that caddy that caddy was perfect but every year I had to take it back into the shop for it to spend a few days to have the transmission readjusted or re whatever tool door whatever they do with these things every year two or three days my car had to be in the shop getting something done to it because of the computer and you knew when it was due because the car would start to it wouldn't drive right you'd feel it you know so i wasn't happy about that but it was a caddy but i got rid of it that i think i had three of those I had a bunch of caddies from back in the day as I was growing up, you know? Caddy's a badass car. But not for nothing, caddy guy, sorry. I'm a caddy guy, but Lincoln's better. It is. Lincoln is better. It is. It's faster. It's more luxurious. It's smoother. Like, not to, you know, caddy drives like a Chevy. It does. <laughs> not the old one, but the new ones. But Lincoln is still true to, like like a Big Mac, the other than the size, you know, it's still a Big Mac. Or I should say Whopper. Whopper's still a Whopper. It didn't shrink down like the, the Big Mac did. But I like Big Macs. I like that sauce. But anyway, um, I'm happy with the Hyundai. It goes to 150, and it doesn't slow down. It'll take you 150 all day. Not for, not for nothing, knock wood. I have had to have no work done on this car. I had a $50 oil change. Actually, by the time I left the dealership that day, I spent 100 because I got some brake pads, not brake pads, I got some uh, windshield wiper, wiper blue, uh, blah, 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 whatever, you know what I'm talking about. I got some of that, and it was beautiful. Not more than 100 bucks. And I got several things done to the car. And you know what? It gets from point A to B the same way. In fact, when I see people at Mercedes-Benz's, Mercedes-Benz, I feel sorry for them. 
I want to say rich, which I don't know. You can tell rich and you can tell wealthy. You know? Anyway, I'll shut up. Now. My speech is going to start to become impaired. Anyway, and my voice is wearing out. Anyway, so I'll be quiet. Do I want to get it dirty? I don't know. This is a lot of fun. If I haven't told you already, if you hadn't heard, heard me say it, what is this called again? This not stadium. Stampede. The top of the line stampede. Get the top of the line stampede. Treat yourself. I had the old stamp, the regular stampede, and that's that's nice. This is butter. And you know how good butter is. And why did they get rid of trans fats? Everything tastes like crap now. All you youngsters out there who think you're eating good fast food, you're not. Ask your mom or your pops how good food used to be. Trans fat. What's a trans fat? Transsexual? <laughs> Does it turn you into a transsexual? I don't know. Trans fat. Who, who, made, who makes up these things? Anyway. And stop having men who carry themselves as a woman, do what you want, fighting women. A woman, a biological woman, should not be fighting a biological man in the Olympics or anything else because he is twice her weight, twice her strength. And I seen one woman, it was brutal. I had to turn it off. This, I don't want to say thing. This man who says he's a woman beat this woman so bad he should have been locked up. I would have locked his ass up if I was there. He should have been locked up. They didn't, I, I would have never let my fighter, a female, fight this beast. And it's not like he was the biggest guy, but he's a man. And God made men bigger because God considered men the protectors. Women do everything else. Women's, women, I was going to say women's. Women are the boss. Mm -hmm. Women run everything. If you really think about everything, everything, if you think from A to Z, right? The only thing a man does is have babies and protect, or he's supposed to, right? That's it. Woman does everything else. She feeds it, she carries it, she nurtures it. A man does none of that. And if it weren't for the woman getting on his ass about it, he wouldn't do most of the stuff he does. So anyway, anyway, stop beating up women. And you guys out there who are preventing your women from fighting men, Continue to do so. I support you. I'm sure everybody else does too. And if they're not, they're probably massacres. He beat this woman. Oh, it was hard. I had to turn it off. I was pissed. I was furious. Anyone like that I'd run into in the street, I'd lock them up. It was brutal. But anyway, get yourself this. I'm waiting for my Russell, Russler. I was going to say Russell. Russler to come. All my cars are Traxxas now. They all have the clips. No more of those pins. I hated those pins. Oh, you don't know how much I hated those pins. So everything is a clip now. Everything is modern. I don't have anything other than one Red Cat, a Gen 8. That's totally boss. Um, in, in my arsenal now, I'm getting rid of everything else. If it's not a Traxxas, I'm getting rid of it. Unless it's Axial. Axial's expensive. I mean, you can see why. You know, the 8x10s. 1x10. Yeah, 110. Yeah, Axial's are totally badass. I mean, sure, I'm sure they all are, but I'm not paying all the money. Traxxas, you get a good deal. They, they can be pricey, but the parts are really cheap. And they have beefed up parts, you know, that you can get. Like when these rot the, the rotors... <laughs> When he's, uh, uh, I can see the word in my mouth, but I can't say it. I mean, I can see the word in my brain right now. My mouth. Anyway, guys, you take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.
If there's anything I like doing, I like doing this. I like doing it in dirt. Let's go do this some dirt. All you gotta do is give it a little throttle and just watch it go. And just steer it. Does anybody else like doing this? I'm sure they do. I haven't seen anybody, but I'm sure there are somebody out there. That is so much fun. <laughs> All you gotta do is put a little throttle and just steer it. And you know what tracks is now? You see these things? All of that there is tucked in. All of that there is tucked in now, so very little dirt gets up in there. I you just drive it through the dirt, drive it through the grass, to give it a cleaning. Just hope this. Oh, did you see that? Hope there's no dog crap in it. You gotta change these the servos once they go. Cleaned it nicely. 